Hi everyone. Welcome to my videos once again. It's me Kawaljit Kaur Soli. Today I have come here with this video explaining how should we attempt the questions in CIA exam. Certified Internal Audit or CIA exam is one of the most sought after exam when it comes to internal audit. There are a lot of time when we as a student get stuck in the examination or while doing practice and don't know how to attempt those questions. So why I have made this brief video so that I can tell you best way to attempt the question. We will be continuing with this series for all the part and many other topics. It is just the beginning for me to explain how should we look at the questions. Today I am going to discuss a couple of topics from part 1. CIA is very uh, good examination when it comes to uh, internal audit. The examinations are not very very tough. However, the only thing which becomes a problem for us is which answer is correct. At the initial stage, CIA exams used to be very easy. The uh, wrong answer could be very very clearly understood while looking at all four options. But as and when uh, the examination has gone uh, into more popularity, the examination difficulty level has also gone up. So today when you look at four options in exam, sometimes it's very difficult for us to uh, identify which one is the wrong answer. All four looks pretty same and that's one of the biggest challenge for a student to know which one is correct. So what we have to understand is how should we eliminate those choices which are not correct <clears throat> and how should we go about the correct one. So let's say the first topic we pick up, it is more pertaining to definition of internal audit. <clears throat> Guys, trust me, this is one of the favorite topic of IIA for CIA examination. Each time they talk about CIA exam, the definitions, the independence topic, uh, these are very, very uh, preferred topics in exam. So when you are preparing for this exam, please prepare it really well. Now when you look at this question, it says, what is the real organizational role of internal auditing? So my suggestion is each time you look at question, read it twice. Our first reading could be wrong. Sometime when you read a question, especially if a question is large, it has many paragraphs or many lines. Sometimes we misinterpret the question. And since we misinterpret the question, we take on the wrong answer goes without saying. So once you have read the question, read it once again briefly so that we make sure that you understood the question well. So it says what is the real organizational role of internal auditing and there are four options. The first one to assist the external auditors in performing their duties, to assist the management in the attainment of more efficient operations, to support the board in the investigation and the last one is to serve as an independent objective assurance and consulting activity which adds value to operation. So guys, first let's talk about option A. Will internal auditors or are internal auditors supporting external auditor in performing their duty? The answer is yes. So we cannot say that this is a wrong answer. However, this is not the core objective of internal audit. This is one of the many duties what internal auditors do. Yes, they do assist external auditors in performing their duties, but that's not core objective. That's why this is not my answer. The B, to assist the management in attainment of more efficient operation. Yes, this is definitely the task of internal auditor. We make sure that we, we inform management 
where are the loopholes in internal control so that the management can send them it. But once again, this is not the core objective. The third one says to support the board in the investigation. So internal auditors can definitely take the other assignment which may include investigation, but we cannot club it with the core objective of internal audit once again. So once we have read first three, we understood that this is not correct. The fourth is correct. But let's also understand why fourth is correct. The initial three words, independent, objective assurance and consulting is the main part of definition of internal audit. Each time you read the definition of internal audit, just remember these three points. You will never ever forget the internal audit definition. First, internal audit is an independent, objective, assurance and consulting activity. Just keep four bullet points in your mind handy and we are good. Independent, objective, assurance and consulting. That is the crux. And then another very important line comes is that internal auditors add value to the operation. The main objective of internal audit is to add value. That is how we have to attempt this question pertaining to definition of internal audit. I hope you have understood. We should not just look at the correct answer. We should also see the other option. While attempting an exam, even if you know that this is the right answer, I would still recommend you to look at all four options because these examinations check which one is the best answer. So this is how to attempt it, the best answer. And we have zeroed down to D and the D is the best answer. Now let's move on to the next question. It is pertaining to risk management. So let's read the question. The so many organizations use electronic fund transfer to pay their suppliers instead of issuing checks regarding the risk associated with issuing checks which one of the following risk management technique does this represent this kind of questions called scenario based question it's a very small scenario however it's a risk management question pertaining to a specific scenario how management uh, deal with the risk they have picked up a scenario which says that rather than paying to vendor by a uh, check, they have started using electronic fund transfer. So how this electronic fund transfer may be more helpful to the company when it comes to risk management. That's the question. If a question has like four or five lines or six, seven lines, we should understand where to concentrate. Not every word written in the question is important. Not every line written in the question is important. So while practicing, start highlighting like this. What the question is asking, where should we understand the question better and then how should we attempt it? My first answer is controlling, then accepting, transferring and avoiding. I'm sure all of you would be knowing that these are risk management technique, all four of them. So not, none of them is a wrong technique per se. However, by doing this, is management trying to control the risk? Well, up to an extent, yes. Are they accepting the risk? No, they are not accepting the risk. If they would have accepted the risk, they would have not changed the way of payment. So no B is not the answer. Are they transferring the risk? Not really. The company still have that risk on their own shoulder. So they have not transferred to anybody. Even C is not my answer. Now I'm confused between A and D. Avoiding and controlling. If I'm changing a technique, then that means I'm trying to avoid the risk associated with the checks. So in this case, D should be the right answer. I am 
controlling the risk in a in a manner that you know i don't want to get exposed to check related risk my my risk should be a bit calculated related to only electronic fund transfer but d is more appropriate answer by eliminating the way of issuing check i have con i have avoided the risk which is associated with the checks so in this my answer is d avoiding this is how we have to deal with a scenario based question <clears throat> and as i said not every word and every line written in the question is important so understand where to look at where to stress where not to sometimes we focus on more uh, less significant part more and important areas are you know forgotten so don't get into that mode the next question is related to purpose of internal audit now all of you please read with me the purpose of internal audit activity can be best described as adding value to the organization providing additional assurance regarding fair presentation of financial statement expressing an opinion on adequate design functioning of the system of internal control and assuring the absence of any fraud that could materially affect the financial statement so once again if i look at all four options none of them is wrong all are duties of internal auditors however we have to uh, what we have to do is pick up the best <clears throat> that is what the question asking it never said that you know we are giving you some option which may not be correct all the four answers are correct however the best answer seems to be a as we discuss in the question number 1 the core purpose of internal audit is what to add value point number b c and d are certainly activities which internal auditor should do however this these are one of the very or one of the few responsibilities ia may have the ultimate purpose is to add value remember internal audit is not an activity which companies take it as just a statutory liability or a compliance most of the time management is very welcoming when it comes to the uh, internal audit because they really uh, look forward to get the result of ia so that the company's operation can be better that is why the whole purpose of internal audit is to add value so i hope by doing these two question you will not go wrong in examination at least on that part what is the core purpose of internal audit yes the core purpose of internal audit is to add value all right one more question this question again is related to risk management risk is a one of the favorite topic once again in part 1 let's read it together the internal audit activity scope of responsibility includes eliminating risk managing the risk evaluating the risk or controlling the risk now remember our definition the internal audited audit is an independent objective assurance and consulting activity now let's focus on last two word assurance and consulting assurance means to giving the confidence to the stakeholders that things are right that is the core you know meaning of assurance and consulting to tell management how to do it but nowhere the definition says that internal auditor will be doing it what they will be doing it they will be giving assurance 
and how do we give assurance by evaluating evaluating the operations evaluating the risk so internal audits activity includes evaluation of risk the rest three option a b and C, d is related to doing it eliminating risk managing risk controlling risk that's not our task what is our task our task is to evaluate give assurance and if required give consulting that is the right answer so this is just tip of the iceberg which includes the various topic of part one especially two topics i have picked up for today's brief video which is frequently tested the objective is just to explain how should we look at question the more you practice the more refined you will become however do not forget the takeaways each time you practice and you do something wrong understand why was that wrong what is not important in during practice is how much did you score why i think it's not important at least at the initial stage because what is more important for us to understand where are we going wrong understand that lesson and remember that lesson that is far far more important yes but when you are coming closer to exam it is also important to see how much you score in practice that shows how ready you are for the exam so guys that was just a small video explaining couple of questions and strategy to deal with it but as i promised in the beginning this gonna be now a continuous show for us i would suggest all of you to please subscribe to our channel capage so that you are more updated and we will inform all our participants about our upcoming videos my upcoming videos will not just talk about how to attempt the question in part 1 2 3 and cia challenge exam it will also talk about what are the few things we should keep in mind and i said those few things that will be how you remember few things in a way that you never go wrong for example i just explained in one of my question the definition of internal audit and i said if you remember four bullet points you will never forget the internal audit definition but that's not just true for one definition there are many many topics which i can explain this way and you will never go wrong so with this let's come to an end this is the website which belongs to my company capage.com if you go to this site we do provide the question bank and video lectures my video lectures um on subscription basis if you are interested you can log on to this website or alternatively this is the contact details you can contact us for support in examination or support for the preparation for exam rather than you know giving you any kind of false message the objective is to support the candidate preparing them so well that you can pass your exam absolutely in first time with flying color so with this let's wind it up here i'll see you very very soon with this thank you so very much and all the best to all who are appearing for the exam soon good day thank you so much